Let's say you're an idea person. You know you want to start a business, but you never really do it for more than a few days. You know you want to get fit, but you never really do that for more than a few days. You really want to be in a relationship, but you just can't seem to get yourself to go out and actually be proactive making new friends and meeting people. So how do you get yourself to go from someone who's an idea person to an action person? Well, in this video, I want to share what my own process is internally for going from idea to action in any domain of life. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master of the Day. Now the first link in the description is for a free journaling worksheet and a free journaling email series you'll get. That's gonna help you figure out how to plot out action steps to reinvent your life, find out what you wanna do, and then actually become the kind of person who's a doer. So you can check out the first link in the description for that free download. So before we get into this process, there is one very important thing. The inner game that people rarely talk about here is that you just have to make 1% progress each day. So behind a lot of this inability to take action is perfectionism, is setting the bar too high, is not letting yourself be gentle with yourself. So for me, from going from idea to action, the most important thing is I just say, you only have to make 1% progress today. You're writing a book, you just have to write 100 words, 250 words, 500 words. You wanna start an art business, Today, just paint for 20 minutes. You want to find a new person to date? Well, you just have to read one relationship book to work on yourself. For me, the smallest thing I can do, by far, makes it easy to overcome that lack of motivation and the lack of discipline. So when you start with that framework, then jump into these action steps. So we begin with the inner game actions. The inner game is fundamentally, I just have to make any progress today. The second step for me is I come up with my outer game actions. So let's go with the example of you're an artist. You're a really skilled drawer and painter, and you want to turn this into a little side business. So our outer game actions, for example, could be I need to create, draw daily. I need to find ways to sell my art, reach out to local coffee shops to hang my stuff up. I need to demo my art in galleries, and I need to connect with other artists. So right now we have the inner game, the fundamental philosophy, the religion, I just have to progress. And the second one is the outer game actions. Like what actually has to happen for me to go from an idea person to an action person. The third step here is really all about figuring out your key daily rituals. So let's talk about your key daily rituals that could apply to those outer actions. So your key daily rituals could be, I need to draw daily for 30 minutes. I need to reach out to three coffee shops each week to try to get my art hung up. I need to reach out to one art gallery per week to do the same. And I need to go to two artist-related events each week. So you have your inner game philosophy, you have the general actions that have to happen, you've turned those actions into specific daily habits, right? Rituals, like this is the bread and butter, rubber meets the road, what do I have to do right now in my one hour I have off? And then, from there, we move on to the fourth step. The fourth step is figuring out what your dedicated time is for those rituals. So for example, you could say, from 8 to 9 p.m. each night, I'm gonna draw. On Mondays at 6 p.m., I'll reach out to coffee shops and art galleries. On Tuesdays at 6 p.m., I'm gonna plan out which art events I'm gonna go to. So now, those specific rituals are dedicated to specific times on specific days. There's no getting around it, right? No BSing yourself. The fifth step is if you get stuck at any one of these stages, you just revert back to the first step, which is I just have to make 1% progress. Some improvement every single day. That's it. So you're like, oh, I wanna be an artist. I don't really feel like painting right now. Step one is just make any progress you can. All right, I'll paint for five minutes, I'm done. Or you get stuck, you don't want to reach out to art galleries, you don't really want to call up coffee shops, it's uncomfortable, it's weird, you don't want to sell yourself. Go back to step one, 1% 1 progress. All right, I'm just gonna list out one coffee shop and I'm done for the day. So this system is something you can use to go from being an idea person to an action person. And if you're looking at it, the most obvious thing is actually being specific. Because 
Anyone can say, I want to find my life purpose, Jesus. Or, I want to find my soulmate. Or, I want to have a business. Those are all friggin' huge goals. But if you start, like if you're writing a book, you start with the table of contents and you fill it in. Well, in the same way, if you start with a big idea, you need to break the idea into a table of contents and then you fill it in. You fill it in with habits. Once you know the habits and when you want to do them, how you want to do them and what they are, it's really easy to take any kind of action. Whereas before, you might have been getting stuck in the idea phase over and over again. So I hope that helps you go from a bit more of an idea person to someone who really takes action in their life. Because at the end of the day, ideas are a dime a dozen and action takers are one in a million. So if you have the intention to become an action taker, you probably will. You know, that's really it. If you want to be better at this, you're going to be better at it. So I hope that helps. Again, the first link in the description is something that can help you plan out your ideas and turning them into very specific actions with that journaling worksheet. You're also going to get an email every couple days on how you can use journaling to reinvent your life and specific stories and case studies on how I did that in my own life. So you can check it out, the first link in the description. And then I've got a few videos on this exact topic right there and right there.